Still my sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, our boy JP is back in action on December the 15th. Heavyweights, baby. Joseph Parker, former WBO uh, heavyweight champion. Joseph Parker uh, will be fighting on December the 15th against a guy named Alexander Flores. You know, the guy's he's 17 and 1. You know, we got 15 KOs, which means he got some power in there. But he's lost to, to Charles Martin in four rounds and then lost to another dude who was, you know, the 4-4 four four record. So that probably means, without me checking him out, he's powerful, probably not that skillful. Supposed to be the same size as Joseph Parker. And, uh, you know, listen, make sure this is clear. We shouldn't have no complaining here. Joseph Parker's coming off two controversial losses to good fighters, Anthony Joshua and Dillian White, in their house, at their crib, all right? The away, whatever you want to call it. He wasn't at home. He was right in their backyards. Two controversial losses. We've talked about it in detail. So there's no reason for him. You know, he's got to come back. He feels as though he needs to prove something here. So the pressure's on a bit, right? He wants to look spectacular in this fight. You know, me personally, he just got to win it. Listen, in a perfect world, Anthony Joshua or Dillian White would have said, what you mean controversial, right? We're going to go to New Zealand or Samoa and beat you up there. But we know how imperfect this world is. N- neither one of them even really even thought about it. They know what time it is with Joseph Parker. A lot of people are all over the world acting like Joseph Parker doesn't have any skills. He's not that good anyway. My point is if Joseph Parker's not that good anyway, then who the hell is? I mean, really, you know, because that's what we do about people. We, we try to disparage people so much that we forget when you do that, you're calling everybody bad. You know, calling if Joseph Park is nothing, that means all the people he, he beat, them either. All the people that, that barely beat him, really, them either. We're not doing that only with Joseph Park. We do it with Deontay Wilder for sure. Everybody he beats are bums. Some people, you know, even say, you know, they don't have a pulse and they forget all those people he beat. We don't want to beat other people that maybe your guy beat. So at the end of the day, you're saying the whole heavyweight division is nothing. That's what we say, you know. That's why you really can't listen to people. They do anything to um, protect the fighters that they like. So at the end of the day, Joseph Parker is one of the best. He's probably one of the top five heavyweights out there. So, you know, when he's back, let him come back, get this fight, and see what happens after that. Good to see him in action, like he always is. They, they keep this guy busy. And one thing never to forget about Joseph Parker, he's still young, guys, compared to most of these guys. Only guy that you know that's up in the upper echelon of heavyweights that's younger than him, right, would be like Huey Fury. Everybody else is old school to him. You know what I mean? So he's got, like, time to learn. And like I said before, those two losses, it's never good in the heavyweight division, but those two losses were controversial, and they were in the backyards of the other guys. And the other guys are still in the mix, having lucrative, lucrative fights, of course, on their home soil. So it's nothing to be, uh, you couldn't be proud of. He could keep his head up. So, everybody, let's be happy. Joseph Parker back in action against a guy, like I said, named Alexander Flores on December the 15th. Staying busy, getting back in the mix, and that's what you're supposed to do. So let's see what happens on December the 15th. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.